欢迎欢迎,欢迎。Gabby， 我们家里布置了这么久，现在总算大功告成了。我们请我们所有的脸书朋友来我们家看一看艺术品吧。好，我们现在就请客人进来吧。So this is probably my favorite painting in the collection. It's a painting by Brett Amory and his Waiting series called Waiting Number Two Hundred Thirty. I really like it because it captures a real sense of loneliness and aloneness using very simple. Planes,、um, lights, shadows, and color, and it really, for me, captures the fundamental exper human experience. Kathy, you and I, we grew up in urban settings. We grew up in big cities, and so this scene,、uh, which captures, as you just said, alienation,、uh, loneliness, is actually very typical in cities, and that's why we really like it a lot. The artist、uh, Jose Parla has painted、uh, families in migration.、Uh, Across the world, and this painting is very interesting because it depicts. If you look up very closely, it looks like a, a collision of forces. But if you take a step back, you look at the swirls, the circles in the painting. You can actually see harmony and energy coming from it, and that's what we really like. We liked Hannah Barrett's work so much. We actually have two of her paintings in our collection:、uh, Mrs. Jump, and over here is Spring Weekenders. Her paintings are colorful. They're silly. They're whimsical, and、um, and at the same time, they actually、uh, carry a more serious message on that of gender identity. Yeah, Hannah Barrett, I think, lives in a very interesting and strange world sometimes, and you can see in the painting、uh, some of the images she paints here. For instance, flowers with petals、uh, looking like their arms are flexing or their arms akimbo like this, and this actually made me laugh out loud.、Uh, this、uh, this man who's typing on a typewriter. Now Kathy is a writer, so it made me laugh, and he's typing on a piece of paper, punctuation marks, and they seem like they're floating off into space. Actually, I often feel that way when I have writer's block. James Sheen is a Taiwan-born American artist, and his work has been influenced by manga,、uh, graffiti, as well as fantasy comics. And you can see that in this work here. It's called Adrift, and it's a painting of a beautiful princess in the middle of crashing waves around her. Very dangerous crashing waves, and、uh, on a theme of what you would think of、uh, the Japanese hokusai paintings. Uh, it's beautiful lapis blue. The colors are really vibrant. That's what we really like about this. We also feel very fortunate to have James Jean's art here, because my daughter Olivia really likes manga, and this really reminds her of Japanese manga. We're really fortunate because we have the opportunity to feature two pieces by two of the most influential contemporary artists in America, Elizabeth Murray and Jennifer Bartlett. This is a painting called Deep Blue Sea, and you can see in its abstract,、um, you know, method,、uh, this coffee cup, and it can barely contain the beverage inside of it, and. The 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 liquid inside or the beverage almost seems like it's roaring waves coming over the edge.、Um, this is a picture that wakes me up every morning. I followed Jennifer Bartlett's painting since the 1980s when I saw a retrospective of hers around the Minneapolis area. And in this painting, it's called Earth Fireworks, and it is reminiscent of my childhood actually,、uh, when we used to go out. And crowd around the FDR bridge and look at the night sky on July 4th and see the fireworks streaming down on us as we look deep into the night sky. One of America's great art exports is jazz music, and jazz is also one of the most expressive forms of music too. And so we have two pieces:、um, one a collage, and another one a copy print of a photograph that was featured in a very famous、uh, Life magazine cover in 1966. These two pieces use jazz as, as an inspiration. In Lucille Nurkse's singer、uh, for saxophonist, you can see the woman singer at the center of this collage, ready to belt out a very.、Uh, Powerful solo, and Louis Armstrong. The photo of Louis Armstrong 
you can see that he is a larger than life personality. And in a photograph, it's very difficult to capture someone in, who is so, has such a big personality uh, in a two-dimensional form. And so Philip Halsman, the photograph, uh, photographer, is able to film him or to shoot him at such an extreme angle that he almost seems like he's bursting into a third dimension.